Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to share with you, um, I don't know, it's a, a very interesting message that I just got in a very strange experience. Um, so I'm in meditation and um, along comes Jesus with his uh, buddies, Archangel Michael and Metatron. Um, and, you know, of course, the divine masculine energy of caring and protection was like so powerful um, and very jocular, very um, friendly, friendly um, energy as well. And so Jesus said to me, um, do you know what I mean? What I mean when I say judge not lest ye be judged I was like um yeah isn't it up there with uh don't cast stones you know or um, you know treat people how you want to be treated and he's like uh, you know, no child <laughs> you're so callow um he said you know it's more like our modern phrase uh, you can't judge a book by its cover. He said, in my time, we said, uh, don't determine the content for the shell, which meant when you look at like uh, an egg, the shell of an egg, you don't know what's going on inside that egg. If if I were to give you an egg and say, here you go, you're like, oh, good. And you'll crack it open to fry it up and have an egg. But so long as that's an unknown egg. You don't know if there's like, maybe it's a three-year-old egg and the inside is nasty, or maybe there's a, a freshly hatched egg that you can make an omelet with, or uh, maybe there's a little chicken in there just about ready to be hatched. And if you crack that egg, you're going to kill the chicken. You're going to kill the baby chick. So he was saying, you don't know what someone else's experience is. So how can you react to anything when you don't know? It's important to act based on your inner truth, but do not react based on your perception of their situation. Um, and he said, on top of that, um, you don't know what lives they've lived up till now. You don't know why they're living the life they're in, what lessons, what karma they need to develop for this life. You don't know what they're setting up in this life to make sure their next life is good, or maybe they're in this life to help someone else. You don't know. So how can you judge? How can you determine their situation while they're still figuring it out. And, you know, I mean, most of us really, we don't know why we're born. We don't know what our life plan is. We don't know how this fits in with our past lives or our future lives. So how can we pretend to know this for anyone else? So he said, judge not, let ye be judged. It's about letting each person follow their life path the way they need to without you creating negative energy in their way. Uh, it's about looking to yourself and honoring what is your life path? What is your mission? What is your purpose? And, um, and then when you come together, you come together and you share your information with open honesty and integrity. So that's what it's about. I was like, wow, that is a really, really cool lesson. I love it. But more than anything, don't judge the content for the shell. I mean, like, that cracked me up. You know, I like, <laughs> that's about as old timey as a phrase, I guess, as someone can bring forward to it. So I'm still cracking up over don't judge the content for the shell, because I think that's a really cool way of looking at life. Um, and, um, you know, uh, I don't know, that just like filled my fancy, 
but the idea of honoring that each person is on a path. And they're either on their path or off their path. We don't know. They're either living their reason for being or they're not. We don't know. What we do know is we must honor ourselves and look upon everyone with compassion. And that's what judge not, lest ye be judged is. So I just wanted to share that. I thought that was really cool. I thought that was um, a really cool gift that was given to me that I wanted to give on to you all as well. Okay, thank you. Bye.